Unit 13, it is a new title exclusively from, from Zipper Interactive. It's built ground up for the PlayStation Vita. Um, we're expecting it to be one of the best products to be out for PlayStation Vita within the launch window. Uh, what it is about is essentially it's, you are part of an elite squad of, uh, mer uh, not mercenaries, but an elite squad of soldiers from around the world. And your objectives are to essentially take, uh, take out terrorist type of activities whenever they come up. We really wanted to try to do pulled from the headline type of scenarios. So what you'll see here is first off, we've got our mission grid. We've got 36 different missions. I'll go ahead and show you one of these missions later on. Uh, let's go ahead and go back here. We've also got online co-op. You can play co-op with another friend uh, on PSN and you can use Wi-Fi for that. We've also got a 3G enabled unit here. All the other components of the game are actually able to be done via 3G. So all of your scoring, any, any GIFs, near GIFs, or high value targets, which you'll see here, we actually have one high value target that's been unlocked and eliminated. Uh, these all unlock when you get stars. In each level, you get a star, uh, star rating, anywhere from one to five stars. And as you can see, they unlock anywhere from 20 stars all the way up to 180 stars. Now, what you can also do when you play high value targets is once you beat it, you can actually share that, uh, share that out via near and you can send it out to people either via near or on your PlayStation's friend list, and they'll have a short time of opportunity to be able to play those high value targets, whether they've unlocked them or not, which is a really cool feature because you know some people might not be able to get up to 180 stars, but they're gonna get the opportunity to actually play because their friends are gonna be able to unlock. We also have daily challenges. These are unique challenges that come up once a day uh, Zipper creates these and pushes the information out. You can get this information via, uh, via Wi-Fi or via 3G. As you can see, the counter is counting down. There's four minutes or four hours left on this particular daily challenge. You have one opportunity to actually get the daily challenge done. Your objective is to post the highest score possible. As you can see, the current leader is 150,000 points for this particular challenge. And what you want to do really is get the best score you possibly can and it's really kind of the average user's opportunity to get, it, to get onto the top of the leaderboards, which we think is a pretty cool thing. Let's go ahead and go into game here. I'll go ahead and show you guys a, a new mission. So what you'll see here is I've brought up a deadline mission. We're going to do level seven. This is uh, in the uh, Taxiller prison or Taxier prison. And you can see your objectives here. And what's happening here is it's actually populating the leaderboards. You can see my last current score. Uh, for what I did was uh, 81,000 and it's reaching out via 3G to populate these. You can get new leader, leaderboards via friends, uh, via, uh, via near, regional, global, all those components. So let's go into game. I'm going to go ahead and select an operative here. You can tap through. We've got six different operatives. As you can see, I've actually leveled some of them up already. Now, what's cool about these guys is not only can you go into the armory and select different things and unlock different attachments, also unlock different projectiles for each one of these guys, but they also have different types of uh, statistics and each one has a particular specialty. And as you level them up, their scoring components actually change. So they have independent scoring that really kind of makes it so that it's really unique as far as finding out who's going to be the best possible guy to use on a particular level. There are recommended guys to use for each level based on what Zipper has set forth, but you can use whoever you want. So let's go into mission with the technician. I actually prefer the technician. I like him. And as we load up here, you can see that you get listed the objectives on each one of the loading screens. It tells you where you're actually going to be doing this tour of duty. And every loading screen is going to give you a different little tip. So you can say, you, for example, this one says you can earn unique scoring bonuses in deadline missions for completing objectives quickly. So really, deadline is all about being speedy. And that's one of the, one of the game types we have. We also have covert missions, which means you have to be stealth. You can't get detected. We also have mission types that are uh, just direct action. As you can see, that you know, I'm able to easily use the dual analog sticks. I can fire away. 
I'll go ahead and shoot off a couple of shots with my silence pistol. You can see that I've got touch controls here. I can also use projectiles by, via touch. I can interact with objects via touch. When I'm aiming, I can actually swipe the back. Uh, let's see if I can show you that. Swiping the back touchpad, and that will switch the shoulders of where I'm aiming. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and see if we can tackle this mission here. I'm going to go ahead and take out as many of these guys as I possibly can. Now, as you can see, it's pretty, it's pretty action-oriented, this game. But you also have to apply a little bit of strategy to the game as well. Um, spe specifically in the different missions, covert missions, uh, and the deadline missions especially, you really want to make sure that you're, you're fast and speedy in these missions. Let's go ahead and run over here, see if we can get, see if we can get this objective done. Let's not die. Uh, there we go, a headshot. And as you can see, I'm getting different scoring. These are the, these are the actual countdowns that I get here um, for being able to tie different scores together, actually. You can see I have melee. Oh man, I'm getting smoked. <laughs> well, let's go ahead and achieve this objective. And so, as you can see, each one of these things—they all give you different types, different types of uh, different types of points. That's where I have to go in order to get my time extended. You can see we're connected on PlayStation Network, and this is PlayStation Vita, and this is Unit 13. And we hope all of you have a good time and and come out and buy it. Abort the mission. Your time is.